Welcome to the Seismic Sisters Show, and welcome to summer 2020. But instead of hanging at the beach, we're facing multiple crises in America, and they're crashing down on us like waves. We have coronavirus, climate change, police violence against peaceful protesters, and now actual threats to our democracy. It's a lot. So what do we do about it? We think at Seismic Sisters, we jump in, rise up, and we make the change we want to see. Today on the Seismic Sisters show, we're bringing you unique perspectives on the news of the day, ideas for action, as well as art, culture, and self-care. Thanks for joining us. I hope you find something here to inspire you and get you recharged. If you guys notice the immensely colorful and inspiring art that's been covering the streets of Bay Area lately, well, it is all thanks to a project called Paint the Void, whose mission is to help artists get paid as guardians of hope and beauty in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. If you'd like to learn more about this project and the ways you could help the artists that's involved in the project, please visit us at seismicsisters.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Bye. Hi, my name is Polina Smith, and this week on Art and Power, we are featuring the incredible comedian Daya Lakshmi Narayanan. Daya has performed her stand-up comedy all over the world. KQED named her as one of 20 creative women to watch who are pushing boundaries. And in 2016, the SF Bay Guardian named her best comedian in the Bay Area. Daya's work is funny, witty, satirical. It makes you think and it pushes social boundaries. And we were lucky enough to have her as a guest on the Seismic Sister Show. So you can check out that full episode on our website. For a good, smart laugh, definitely check out Daya's work. Hello, this is Kimberly Ellis with a political report for Seismic Sisters. Instead of reporting on the usual political goings on this past week, I thought that we would use this opportunity to dedicate this segment to one of civil rights' biggest icons and giants who passed away, unfortunately, due to pancreatic cancer this past weekend. I am, of course, talking about Congress member John Lewis. As many of you know, Congressmember John Lewis was one of the big six leaders of the groups who organized the 1963 March on Washington. Where is our party? Where is the political party that will make it unnecessary to march on Washington? Where is the political party that will make it unnecessary to march in the streets of Birmingham? Where is the political party that will protect the citizen of Albany, Georgia? Do you know that in Albany, Georgia, nine of our leaders have been indicted, not by the Dixocrats, but by the federal government for peaceful protests. Those who have said be patient and wait, we must say that we cannot be patient. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. He was first elected in Congress in 1986 and served 17 terms or 33 years in Congress. In 1961, John Lewis became one of the 13 original freedom writers and he dedicated his life really to the civil rights movement. The Congress member organized sit-ins at segregated lunch counters in Nashville and he was instrumental in organizing bus boycotts and other nonviolent protests in the fight for voter and racial equality. Generations from now, when parents teach their children what is meant by courage, the story of John Lewis will come to mind. An American who knew that change could not wait for some other person or some other time. The Congress member received his bachelor's degree in religion and philosophy from Fisk University. And as a student, he was incredibly involved with helping to bring about a more racially just society. The Congress member touched so many people over the course of his life and of course one of his most famous quotes was, do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. 
Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. When you see something that is not right, not fair, yeah. not just, yeah. say something, yeah. do something, get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. He was John Lewis. We're marching today to dramatize to the world that hundreds and thousands of Negro citizens denied the right to vote. Congressman Lewis gave us the blueprint to organize and to legislate. The reason why he's effective as a leader is because he's lived it. You are ordered to disperse that march will not contest. <laughs> You cannot replace a John Lewis. He's the most courageous person I ever met. Too many people struggled and died to make it possible for every American to exercise their right to vote. Their forces in America today want to take us back, but we're not going back. We're going forward. Check out our website for more articles, news, and updates at SeismicSisters.com. Until next time, be well. Thanks for watching the Seismic Sisters show. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Seismic Sisters, visit our website to sign up for our newsletter, and please tell your friends.